Hi, artist. It's Ms. Messer, your friendly neighborhood art teacher. And today I'm very excited to share with you that we're going to learn how to draw castles. So let's figure out what we need to do today to make sure our drawings look awesome. First, we're going to look at some examples of castles. Then we're going to examine vocabulary that's going to help us include real life details. Then we're going to learn how to draw bricks. And lastly, we're going to start drawing. One of the amazing things about art is that we can use it to connect with history. So first, let's talk about the history of castles. Castles were built during the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages started in the year 476 and lasted about 1,000 years until 1450. A castle is a fortified structure. This means it's protected in a lot of ways, some of which we're going to talk about in a second. It was important that it was protected because royalty like queens, kings, princes, and princesses lived in castles. Queens and kings had started to gain a lot of wealth during this Middle Ages time, so they wanted to protect it, and that was one reason they started building castles. Now let's talk about some of the architectural features that are unique to castles. Architecture is a fancy word for the design of buildings, so let's talk about some of the architecture in castles. As we look, I want you to be thinking about how these features protect the castle and whoever lives there. First, we have a barbican. This is an entrance that sticks out. Next, we have an arrow loop, and this is a narrow slit that you could shoot an arrow through. A moat you might have heard of before. This is a body of water that surrounds the castle. Next is a drawbridge, a bridge that can be raised or lowered. Here we have a drum tower, which is a cylindrical tower that's built into the wall. Lastly, we have the Crenelle and Merlins, which form the classic castle lines on top of a tower. What do you think these are used for? Because castles are made out of stone, I want to show you the right way to draw them. So I'm going to show you how to draw bricks, and I'm going to show you the wrong way first, then I'll show you the right way, and you can see the difference. I'm going to draw the same castle structure twice, so I can show you the wrong way first, and then the right way. I see a lot of students do this first thing to make a brick or stone wall, but it's incorrect. You don't want your stone wall to look like a checkerboard. You'll notice if you do it like this, you'll fly through it and you'll be done really quickly. But making it really look like it's supposed to look is going to take you a little bit more time. Okay, now I'm going to show you the correct way to do this. You're going to start by making horizontal lines going across your castle anywhere you want to see stones or bricks. You'll notice that my horizontal lines curve a little bit on my drum towers because those are cylinders. I draw my bricks in one row at a time by using short vertical lines. I make my first row, then I move down to the next. But instead of putting the bricks right on top of each other, they are staggered. So your first brick in the second row is created by putting that short vertical line in the middle of the brick above it. I'm actually starting to form a pattern as I do this. So start with horizontal, horizontal lines, then move on to vertical lines and create a pattern that looks like bricks. Before we get started drawing, turn to the people at your table and take one minute to talk about the ideas you have for your castle. Your job today is to design a castle with architectural details that will protect whoever is inside. So I want you to talk about who's going to live in your castle. What details will you show? As you begin to draw, remember to do your whole drawing in pencil. And when you're finished in pencil, you can trace over your pencil lines with Sharpie. Good luck, artists. I can't wait to see what you make. 